Children's Village Project, a Shyman, is a project conceived by Me We Unlust Italy and the Salesians of Dombosco, Anglophone West African province to help deprived, disadvantaged children in their process of growth, offering them affection, food, health care, education, and above all, introducing them into the world of work. The Me We Don Bosco Child Protection Center is a reality. One year ago, it was just a dream, but today we can say that with your help, the help of all our friends and benefactors, the center is a reality. We have received more than 30 children, boys and girls, who are orphans, children who have been trafficked, some of them just sold for a few uh, euros, and today we can say they are with us. We would like to express now our thanksgiving to all of you, because without you, we couldn't have made this dream a reality. The project has three distinct centers. The Blessed Laura Catholic Basic School, the Child Protection Center, and the Don Bosco Sports Complex. These are separated one from another and have independent entrances. The whole project began with the construction of the girls hostel in 2005 and as at now there are a lot of facilities which has completed some are ongoing and some are still pending for funding. The whole project is divided into three centers, the school, the child protection center and the sports complex. So far we have been able to start the child protection center since March 2014 and the school is due to commence in September 2014 for the 2014-2015 academic year. Most of the projects are still running and we have estimated that the project will cost around 9 million Ghana cities uh, of about 2 million euro of which Close to 51% has been financed, while the difference are still pending for financial support. For the Child Protection Center, we have the two dormitory blocks, refectory block and infirmary, while we are also still waiting for the staff house and the hall, a multi-purpose hall. One of the dormitory blocks is already completed, with the other one, which is uh, which are stuck for now. The sports complex has completed the football field already and we have made provision for concrete seats which we are still looking for funds to expand. The other sports facilities like the volleyball, the basketball, the tennis are yet to materialize as, as well as the change or washroom. The school has already gotten completed three facilities, the girls hostel, the primary school block and the kindergarten block. The overall objective of this project initiative is to provide education, of course, affordable one, making it accessible to the poor and needy in society. To provide shelter, accommodation for the disadvantaged child, homeless and the poor in society to provide sporting complex with modern sporting facilities within the neighborhood of Ashaiman and Tema where children and young people within these communities will have a place to develop their more talents and skills in sports. Now here we are the unfinished security house what is a part of the sport complex. The sport complex will be separated from the Child Protection Center in order to facilitate the sport complex for the students and for the public. This is why we have an own entrance you can see here. Here all the empty area you will be the part of the sport complex. You can see the signboard of the future uh, sport facilities. Here we have the, the place for the volleyball we have the place for the court, tennis court, and we have the place for the basketball. It will be here. We have on the left hand the football field. We have on the 
on, on the right hand, we have the other part of the sport complex. And on the end also, you see also the borehole and the water. Because we also need to we have a watering system for the football field and also the water system for the sport complex. Currently, the two rescued trafficked children under rehabilitation, 11 girls and 21 boys. The objective of the centre is to provide a shelter for children who are abandoned, marginalised and poor, offer them homely surroundings where they can live in effect with a family, a school that prepares them for life, a parish that they learn to love God and a space for amusement and socialisation. The beneficiaries of this project are children and young people, especially orphans and children exposed to great risk of many forms. Children who are abandoned, disadvantaged, coming from broken homes, trafficked or having had harsh experiences of life. Hi, my name is uh, Niema Olenu, I'm the country director of, uh, of MIWI Ghana. Um, it's an NGO that I founded um, almost uh, 12 years ago. Um, I was coming from Italy after university and uh, I was having the idea of uh, sharing the, my fortune because I've always been a very lucky person. So I was having the need of, uh, of sharing this, uh, this uh, energy that God, uh, God uh, and life gave me. Uh, through, of course, energy and the funds that I was having. So I started a little orphanage in, uh, in, uh, in Wawasi, in Lower Denshira District, um, for 12 years. And then, uh, luckily, we met with uh, the Salesians of Don Bosco, the real missionaries. And, uh, and uh, I was very happy to, together with uh, the president of uh, Miwi Italy, uh, Dr. Sandro Koshikia, to merge with them and uh, uh, get together to create uh, uh, a child protection center um, uh, in Tema. Luckily, uh, Don Bosco was having a, a large land and uh, I think together we, we start uh, raising some funds and uh, we created uh, something that I think it's a, it's a masterpiece for, it's a, it's a refuge for, how do you call it, for children. It's a place where a child can uh, uh, reconnect itself with life. Um, there's many bad stories behind these children and uh, I think uh, it's the right place uh, for them to be protected, for them to be charged again with, uh, with life, uh, for them to identify themselves, uh, maybe forget a little bit about the past or analyze it and then uh, put it aside and start again uh, uh, fresh. Um, I'm, I'm a person that believes uh, deeply in the human being still uh, apart from all the problems that we have in this uh, little world, but I think that we should continue investing on human, um, on their capabilities, and uh, it is when they are small that we can really uh, inspire them, that we can uh, make sure that they will be responsible human beings for the future. Um, this world is our responsibility, and uh, I think that uh, with our with our child protection centre, uh, we are giving them opportunity to sports. Sports is a, a, a very important educational tool. They wake up in the morning or during the weekends, uh, they can do a lot of sports. Uh, at the same time, it's a generating uh, income generating uh, uh, activity for us because uh, at the end of the day, all this uh, center must be financed. Recently, the number of children have increased because we started with seven number of kids 
uh, that came uh, the 13th of March this year and now we are having 32 of them in the house and this week we are hoping to get 6 or 8 more and in the future according to the plan we have on ground for the centre we can accommodate a total number of 120 children at a go. Uh, it hasn't really been easy, it's been a very nice experience uh, we're staying with the kids, with the staff, we're trying to, to, to do our best to keep the activities running. Uh, we have this uh, rehabilitation program for these children who are being trafficked. Some of them are being used uh, for forced labor for in the fishing uh, area in Water Lake precisely. And some of them are sexually abused. Some of them are also children from the street and orphan. So we try to uh, set up this place because we felt the urgent need for a place, a good place where we can rehabilitate uh, these uh, children. Um, it's not been easy as I said because a lot of things have to be put in place for these children to make the activities to run very well because it's really demanding as we know in Ghana today it's not so easy because of the economic uh, crisis we are, we, we, we are passing, we're passing through. Um, we, we feed the children three times a day, morning, afternoon and night. And some of them, they have some personal issues that we have to look into concerning their health. Um, we have to take them to hospital to make sure they are, they are sound. We have to take some of them to, to psychological assessment for rehabilitation in psychological uh, area and um, a lot of uh, things that we need to put in place. This school is named Blessed Laura Catholic School. We want to begin this year with the three classes, the first class, KG1, KG2 and P1. We, we want to grow with our children, you know, to, to teach them the, the, the way, the best way to become a very good uh, citizen. For each class we are expecting 30. And teachers, uh, we contact the teacher now, but even our sister will teach in, a, in this school. We, we have uh, this uh, building is for the uh, KG1, KG2 and maybe nursery. And the other one is for the primary school. We are thinking to build the, the, the class for a secondary school. Today we have these children and we can say that they have found in Miwi Don Bosco Child Protection Center a home where they feel protected. It's properly a shelter where they feel at home, they have found a family. Also they have found a school where they are learning uh, how to live, the most important values of life, they are preparing for life. And also they have found a place where they can, they can experience that God loves them and cares for them. With the Don Bosco uh, has been a fantastic experience because they are missionaries, they are priests, but they are very um, sustainable in the mind. They do um, and create projects that are sustainable and have great impact on, uh, on communities. Um, uh, that is why we have been uh, thinking about the Child Protection Center and the income generating activities which can be, apart from the football pitch, it can be a tennis court, it can be a restaurant where uh, some of the children can experience uh, uh, the first, uh, uh, for the first time maybe the working life uh, and so on. Um, I'm very happy, I know that uh, we still need a lot of help uh, from everybody who would like to support us, of course. Um, I'm sure that this one is, uh, is a great opportunity for the Ghanaian youth, uh, and for youth and for the world in general. We need to uh, help the children to uh, understand where they can be champion. My name is Phil and I am 12 years old. And 
We do a lot of activities at the CPC, and I, my favorite is the painting. I like the food they cook there. They cook jollof rice and a lot of different kinds of food. I like all the activities and the stuff they do there. We also do studies. There are three classes, the lower class, the upper class, and the middle class. I'm in the upper class. And they like the teachers, math, science, and English. Because those are the three good subjects that you have to learn. I want to become a banker in the future. But the dream continues. Very soon these children will be reunified and a new group will come. We need your support. We need your help so that many, many children will continue to join the dream of Don Bosco, profiting from this center and finding not only a, a place to stay, but a place where they can grow with the help of God and with the help of the Salesians of Don Bosco. Live as Salesian, we know that through activities, through sport, we educate children, we educate youngsters, we occupy them, we can get them from the street. I like to thank you all the organization who really contributed to this project that this project became really successful. So I like to mention few of them of our development partners. The Mivi Onlo Italy, Mano Sanidas Spain, Jugend eine Welt Austria, Hope 87 Austria, UNESCO Foundation Germany, Don Bosco Mission Germany, Salishan Mission US and so many other private donors and individuals who helped us really to become this project a true project for our children in need. Thank you very much. And also I'd like to mention also our staff who were very committed uh, to this project, who worked tireless that this project becomes a really a true project for our children in need. Thank you very much and God bless you.